Today, I want to talk with you about anemia. I will start with the definition. Anemia can be defined as a reduction in the hematocrit or hemoglobin concentration. So you ask, what is hemoglobin and what is hematocrit? Hemoglobin is a molecule found in red blood cells that is responsible for carrying oxygen and is reported in grams. Hematocrit, on the other hand, is the volume of red blood cells in plasma and is reported in percentage. Hemoglobin is a molecule composed of two alpha chains and two beta chains. Each of the four chains consists of a globin portion and a heme unit. Therefore, each molecule of hemoglobin carries four molecules of oxygen. Because of the iron, hemoglobin appears red when oxygen is added and bluish when oxygen is removed. There are four normal types of hemoglobin that you should be aware of. Number one, hemoglobin A. This has two alpha chains and two beta chains. It accounts for 90% of total hemoglobin. Secondly, hemoglobin F. This has two alpha chains and two gamma chains. This accounts for less than 2% of total hemoglobin. Hemoglobin F is normally replaced within the first six months with hemoglobin A. Number three, hemoglobin A2. This has two alpha chains and two delta chains. It accounts for 2% to 5% of total hemoglobin. And lastly, hemoglobin A1C. This has two alpha chains and two beta chains, but also has glucose receptors on the beta globin chains. Iron is critically important for synthesis of hemoglobin. About 80% of the iron in the body is bound to heme. The other 20% is stored in bone marrow, liver, and spleen. Women have approximately 2 grams and men approximately 6 grams of total body iron. The lack of iron will result in a small amount of hemoglobin in the red blood cells. It is this lack of iron that results in iron deficiency anemia. Before I go further, I want to talk a little about physiology and terminology. When red blood cells are destroyed in the spleen, the iron from their hemoglobin is released into circulation and returned to bone marrow for the production of new red blood cells. Iron is transported in plasma and is bound tightly but reversible to a plasma protein known as transferrin. This accounts for about 0.1% or four milligrams of total body iron. The next thing I want to talk about is the total iron binding capacity. This is a lab test that measures whether iron is binding to transferrin or not. Each transferrin molecule can carry two iron molecules. Therefore, if serum iron is low the binding sites on transferrin will be empty and TIBC will be high. Conversely, if serum iron is high, the binding sites on transferrin will be saturated and TIBC will be low. The next term I want to discuss is ferritin. Ferritin is a protein that stores iron in the form of Fe3 non-toxic state. So far, I talked about transferrin, TIBC, and ferritin. 
the normal range for transferrin saturation is 20 to 50 percent. TIBC is 240 microgram per deal to 450 microgram per deal, and ferritin is 20 to 500 nanogram per ml in men, and for women, 20 to 200 nanogram per ml. As was previously stated, anemia is an abnormally low number of circulating red blood cells or hemoglobin or both, which cause diminished levels of oxygen carrying capacity. There are four primary causes of anemia. Number one, excessive loss of red blood cells from bleeding. Number two, destruction or hemolysis of red blood cells. Number three, defective red blood cell production and number four inadequate red blood cell production because of bone marrow failure the symptoms of anemia vary and depends on the type of anemia it includes but not limited to number one fatigue number two malaise number three generalized weakness number four pale skin number five cold hands and feet Number six, dizziness. Number seven, reduced immunity. Number eight, shortness of breath. And number nine, hypertension with tachycardia. I will be discussing the following anemias. Number one, microcytic anemia. Number two, normocytic anemia. Number three, macrocytic anemia. And number four, hemolytic anemia. The anemias that are classified under microcytic anemia are number one, iron deficiency anemia, number two, thalassemia anemia, and number three, sideroblastic anemia. The anemias that are classified under normocytic anemia are number one, anemia of chronic disease, and number two, aplastic anemia. The anemias that are classified under macrocytic anemia are number one, vitamin B12 deficiency anemia and folate deficiency. And finally, the anemias that are classified under hemolytic anemia are number one, sickle cell anemia, number two, hereditary thyrocytosis, number three, G6PD deficiency or glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, and number four, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. I do hope this short presentation has established a structural approach to anemias and will provide a framework of understanding the specific types of anemias. Please view anemia number two for specific anemias. I wish you well. Good night.